Talk 770, Calgary's breaking news and conversation station. Registered dietitian Andrea Hollinger says it's something uh, she gets asked a lot. We're talking about cholesterol. And even in the break, I was asking you questions about it because it's something uh, I certainly think about, but then it's easy to sort of put it aside. Sure. Uh, when it terms of conquering it, if you have it, improving it or avoiding it altogether, what is the major thing you have to do to overcome cholesterol? Yeah, and great news is, is there's some really good things that we can do. So first Excellent. off... People probably have heard this before, but if you're overweight, even losing 10 pounds can make a big difference on dropping that cholesterol level. And of course, if you're carrying a lot of extra weight, then we have room sometimes to even bring it back to normal. Now, when it comes to uh, the type of fat that's in your diet, that's, that's, there's a big difference there in terms of good fat and bad fat, right? You got it, you okay. got it. Yeah, so often people think, you know, all fat is bad when it comes to cholesterol, and that's definitely not what we're after. We're after just making sure the healthy types of fats are still in our diet. So I brought a couple of things to show you today, and I think we've all heard things like olive sure. oil are really good for our heart. What we know is that people that have the right heart healthy types of fats in their diet have better cholesterol levels than people that have a low low fat diet so your olive oils your vegetable oils your nuts and your seeds now it's something like olive oil you're talking about replacing something else Sure, in terms of just, cooking with olive oil or adding it to something? Sure, absolutely. Okay. Adding a little bit of extra these types of fats, um, choosing some salad dressings that have okay. full fat in them, adds so much more flavor and it'll make your salads and your veggies so much more tasty and really good for our hearts. And overall. almonds, you're pointing out another one. Sure, all nuts and all seeds nuts? are actually very good heart healthy types of fats. Avocados, another. And then I brought in a couple of the other um, omega-3 sources of fats, of okay. course fish being the best, but we know that so many Canadians don't eat enough fish, so fish oil supplements would be an option and then some of the alternative omega-3 sources like your hemp hearts ground <laughs> flax seed and chia seeds would also be great things to toss into yogurt or oatmeal uh, to boost up that heart health. When you talk fat. about Canadians not eating a lot of fish, is that just prep work, you think, that people avoid it, or just something that slips our mind and we just know. go to chicken? You know, maybe, and it's sometimes a, a food preference sort of thing, or maybe availability, uh, being in, a, of course, a landlocked province, I'm yeah, not so sure. Yeah, that doesn't help in Alberta, <laughs> for sure. Um, cereal, getting the morning started. It looks like you've got something here in terms of bran. Yeah, and I brought in the oatmeals, of course, oat okay. bran, um, all of our whole grains, um, particularly cereals that contain psyllium. What these cereals offer is a good source of psyllium fiber, and we know that particular type of fiber actually, again, reduces cholesterol. Another big source is going to be in your beans and lentils, chickpeas, Chickpeas is a good one. Wonderful sources of soluble fiber. If we could get something of, you know, in these categories in every day, it's very good for reducing so cholesterol. So how much, you've got um, broccoli here and asparagus and raisins. How much are you talking a day to someone have to, I guess it depends on what your cholesterol rating is, but just average how much of this stuff do we need in our diet every day well of course i've, I've got the plant-based foods yes. featured front and center because we all need you know no we need to eat yes. more fruits and vegetables <laughs> i would say at least three pieces of fruit a day is what we're after when we're okay. coming after uh, reducing um, cholesterol your berries pears apples dried fruits all wonderful again sources of those soluble fibers and antioxidants for our heart and then what i talk about for veggies is what i call the two by two rule which means have some early in the day for me it's usually lunchtime and then have a second bout of them later on in the day so okay. two different vegetables twice a day great way to top up your heart health well we really appreciate your time and all your tips thanks so much great Thank topic you. if you want more information you can go to andrea's website that's uh, healthandnutrition.com much more is still ahead here as we sit at 751 justin bieber once again in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons